The New Orleans Saints addressed many of their needs through free agency, so when it came time for them to pick at number 24 in the 2020 draft, Sean Payton selected the best player on their board, Cesar Ruiz, an interior lineman at the University of Michigan. There was two players, three players that we were really looking at staying put. There was a couple guys we talked about trading up to get, um, but we felt like uh, we felt pretty pretty strong about letting the draft come to us and we were fortunate uh, to, to get one of the two guys that we had starred. I didn't think I was, you know, I didn't think I was the guy and, you know, I got the, I got the call with like two minutes left on the clock and it was just, it was unbelievable. It was, um, I was just starstruck at the moment. It was the assist, assistant GM and uh, Coach Payton and um, they basically just said, hey, look, you know, we're excited, you know, we're fired up and, um, we're going to take you with this selection right here, one on o'clock. Ruiz is a second team Big Ten selection, starting all 13 games and 31 of 36 games in his Michigan career. And he might not wait long to start in the NFL. One draft site projects he will be a starter within his first two years in the league. I can play any position alone in theory. Um, I have familiarity with everything, um, center, guard. Um, so I can play I can play everything across the interior offensive line. And uh so my versatility comes in place. Um, whatever coach wants me to play, so I'm going to play. One of the areas we wanted to improve in this draft was, you know, an interior offensive lineman. And um, those, are, those are hard players to find later in the draft. We had a real high grade on, on Caesar. Um, he was a guy that I would say uh, we had a lot of information on. Um, he, he was extremely, extremely productive, uh, tough player at Michigan. Ruiz was clearly emotional when he was selected. The lineman tragically lost his father when he was just eight years old. Caesar Edwin Ruiz was helping a motorist change a tire when he was tragically struck and killed. On Thursday night, Caesar's dad was clearly on his mind. You know, I dedicate this whole, my whole journey and everything I do to him. And, uh, you know, that's the first thing that came to my head was my dad. And then I looked on the screen and my they should they put a picture of my dad on the screen. So that's where really all the emotions came from. And a big part of it was also just the excitement and relief. It was an emotional night for the newest Saint. And as for the Saints, they have just one pick on Friday, a third-round selection at number 88 overall. The team traded their 2020 second-round pick a year ago to select center Eric McCoy. But the Saints weren't the only busy team in Louisiana on night one of the draft. Five LSU Tigers went in the first round. Joe Burrow, to the surprise of no one, was the top overall pick by Cincinnati. Edge rusher Calevon Chason was the next Tiger off of the board as he went 20th to Jacksonville. Two picks later, Justin Jefferson went to the Minnesota Vikings, filling a big need for them at wide receiver. Linebacker Patrick Queen was selected by the Ravens with the 28th pick, and in the last pick of round one, the defending champion Chiefs took running back Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Several more Tigers should be selected this weekend. In Metairie, Paul Boron for CST.